Go for Amnesia again, because whatever you use is really gonna hurt if you attack right now. No! <laughs> oh no! Go ratings, Boogie fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of my Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu playthrough. If you guys have been enjoying the series so far, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Also, I normally promote the Batty Bad t-shirt, but I am happy to announce that it has indeed sold out. Um, thank you so much to everyone who bought the shirt. I really, really appreciate that. Um, so, I have done a, quite a good chunk of stuff off camera, uh, since the last episode. Um, the first thing I did was I did a lot of Pokedex work. Um, as you can see, the only Pokemon I am missing now from the Pokedex are Lickitung, which I will get as soon as we get into Cerulean Cave, and, um... The birds and Mewtwo. Those are the only ones I'm missing. So, since I'm planning to get those Pokemon in this episode, I should also be able to get the shiny charm in this episode. So, that's pretty cool. Um, the other thing I did was, I in here, I did a catch combo with Machoke in an attempt to level up the Pokemon I needed to level up for my decks, um, along with my team. And that was very effective. As you can see, my Pokemon are now high 60s. Um, which is great because that's like I can now beat pretty much any trainer in the game except for red um, So that's nice um, And also my outfit you probably are wondering my outfit uh, This is the blast off outfit. Well most of it that I got from um, I was on route 17 the one that used to be the cycling road and I happened to walk into James and Jesse and I fought them, and after winning, I got this outfit, which, I, this is mostly the Blast Off outfit, so the hat is this, um, this purple one, because I'm a boy, it's supposed to represent James's hair, the girl's is red, like Jesse's hair, um, but it doesn't match very well, so I, I didn't, I don't have it as that, uh, that's just the regular Team Rocket hat, and the bag, the, the Blast Off bag is this one, um, and I just thought the regular Team Rocket bag matched better. Uh, so, yeah, that is what I am wearing. And it's very cool. Um, but we're gonna try and dodge all these grown men. And, uh... We're gonna go catch Moltres. We're gonna catch all the birds in this episode. Um, but Moltres is the first one. Figured we do it first since we're already here. <laughs> um, I know you have to fight them. So we're gonna lead with Raider, because that's... Should Oko it. <laughs> What does Pidge want? Does she have a gift for me? No, she's just uncomfortable. Why are you always uncomfortable? You're you're far and away like one of the strongest Pokemon in this entire cave. Why are you? Why do you need pets? You're very cute, but but still, your pet needs are illogical. Ridiculous. I do like how like when you use strength. Pikachu is just, like, perpetually Super Saiyan. Like, just glowing. I think that's pretty fun. Alright. Let's do this! Oh. oh, cool. Oh! That was awesome! I love the little movies. Oh, it's so on fire. An epic sky battle inside of a cave. Alright, well... Not that epic of a battle. <laughs> Took care of that quickly. Now, here comes the tricky part. <laughs> I have like 70 something. Oh no, I only have 50 something Ultra Balls. Okay, we're buying more Ultra Balls after this. Oh, I overthrew it. Okay, it's not as far away as I thought it would be. Oh boy. This is gonna suck. <laughs> Oh, just short that time. Ugh. It's fine. Oh, 
Oh, just short again, are you kidding? It's fine, I got this. We're gonna get this thing. No, don't move to the side right as I use the freaking... I need to throw it harder. I'm under-throwing it. Oh! Ha! Yes! Let's go! <laughs> we got Moltres! That's awesome! That went way better than I thought it would. <laughs> Let's go. Moltres. Legendary bird Pokemon, as it flaps its flaming wings, even the night sky will turn red. All right. That's awesome. What is pitch one? Oh, hyped that I caught it. All right. Uh, did I just like... <laughs> That's objectively amusing. All right. All right, that's enough pats. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's go catch Zapdos next. Uh, just figured we'd go in reverse order. I have been to the power plant already. Um, I didn't fight Zapdos. I just, like, went in there and caught the electric types that were there. It was actually really nice. Like, I, I, the, the, the first, um... The first room I went in in the power plant, all possible Pokemon that could be caught there, I found. Um, it was actually kind of crazy. It was like Magneton, then Electabuzz, then Electrode, then Voltorb, then Magnemite. I just found all of them, like, back to back to back to back. It was, it was nice. I don't need to heal. I used one rock slide. What am I doing? Um, I do want to buy more Ultra Balls, though. I know we have, like, 50, but you never, you never know with these guys. Uh, we need to, we need to ride Arcanine now that we're traversing. Oh, actually, I know what we can do once we buy some Ultra Balls. All right, we got 100 Ultra Balls now. Should be totally fine. Okay, now this is something I haven't done on camera yet, but it's very cool. And that is flying high. Woo! No. Look at this. And just skip over all of the obstacles. It's very, very cool. I did catch a wild Dragonite and Charizard doing this. Probably shiny hunt them at some point. Look, there's a Fero. We don't need to do that. All right. And that made that trip very quick. <laughs> uh, Zo, you can do this. Um, who do I want to fight Zapdos with? Zapdos is harder to counter. Because all my Pokemon that have super effective damage against it are also weak to it. But it's also, like, 16 levels lower. <laughs> we'll be fine. Alright, the power plant! Yeah, so, as I, as I mentioned, I'm dodging all these Pokemon because I already caught all of them at least once. And I got most of the items in here. I know there are some electrodes. Did I go this way? Yes, I did. I can't remember which way I went. Pidge, what do you want? You are so freaking needy. Why are you afraid right now? No. It's a power plant and you're an electric type. This should be like fun for you.
I, I feel like there might be... Okay, no, that's an electrode. You can tell because it's upside down. Oh, that's an item I didn't miss, though. How do I get to that? Oh! Dang it, Voltorb. No, stop! Oh my god! <laughs> I think I had to go this way. Yeah. Oh my god! What? <laughs> Leave me alone! I already own all of you! There we go. A max potion. All that work for a max potion? I mean, that's fair. Max potions are super expensive. 2,500 bucks when a freaking, uh, like, an Ultra Ball is 500. Five times the price. Alright. I know we're on the right path now. There's the Zapdos Master Trainer. I haven't fought any Master Trainers yet. Uh, I don't- I don't plan to do that in this Let's Play. If I do that, it'll be- either be on stream or like a separate thing. But alright, let's do this! So cool. These movies are so awesome! I got something in my eye. All right, fighting Zapdos with a water type. Let's see how this goes. Oh man, light screen. All right, so it's gonna take two ice beams, I guess. Oh, three ice beams. Well, that's great. That's just lovely. <laughs> All right, let's see how much this does. Ooh! Oh, freaking come on. Uh. All right, now we, oh, I have payday. Okay, we'll get some money. I thought it payday, because I fought a lot of the trainers on those routes that I skipped earlier and just like KO'd all their Pokemon with payday. It took forever, but... Oh, I still may not get any money for that. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, so close. The Nan Nan Berries are very helpful. Oh, no, he moves. Crap. You, you have a Nan Nan Berry. Why are you moving? Nope, that does not work. Oh, we got it! Oh, cool! Man, second one in a row, I've just got it with like a regular throw. Nice. We get two Zapdos candy for that. Did we get Zap? We didn't get Zapdos candy for catching Moltres. I'm very surprised we got Zapdos candy from that. I mean, I'm not complaining, but like... I need to I'm gonna move my headphone to this ear. So the wire's less in way, less in the way of my, uh... Oh, 
So that's less than the way of my my throwing arm. All right, were there any? I don't think there are any items I missed. In here. No. All right. To the Seafoam Islands. <laughs> Goofball. It's really into hide and seek. It started and gave up just as quickly. <laughs> Let's go to Cinnabar. And I never actually finished the Seafoam Islands puzzle. So this might, this might take a little bit. <laughs> All right, need to heal this squad because Lapras took some damage. Cool. So now we need to ensure Lapras is our ride Pokemon. Wouldn't it be right to go onto the sea without Lapras? Route 20. Jubilee spent a lot of time here shiny hunting Lapras and Magikarp. I don't know if you guys saw her, her, some of you guys probably saw it, her video where she failed a shiny Lapras. She, like, didn't see it before it disappeared. And then she found another one less than 10 minutes later. It was insane. It was, I, I could not believe it. <laughs> Minasaur probably doesn't appreciate the cold, but he, he's gonna have fun regardless. You're gonna be fine, buddy. Really making us go down. All right, that's the current. And I'm pretty sure I'm have to stop. No point in having Lapras out because it's just when it does the spinny thing, it defaults to the surfboard. Anyways, I'm pretty sure it doesn't spin Lapras. That'd be fun, but I'm pretty sure it does not do that. Which way do I go? Let's try this way. At the very least, I saw there was an item that I think I get to via this ladder. Yep. It's so funny that the Pokemon just perpetually run if they get caught on something. They don't just immediately, like, teleport through it. That's a hole in the floor. I feel like I already pushed a rock down it. I know I pushed one of the rocks. I just can't remember, like... Which rock was it? And how do I find the other one? Gosh dang it, Venusaur. <laughs> oh, okay, wait, hold on. These seem very important. Okay, I can't push. That rock can't be pushed anywhere. It can only be pushed into the to the right or to the left. But if I can push those other two rocks, there's got to be a hole in the floor I can fall down from above that'll land me in that little area right there. Let's go up. Oh, come on, there's got to be. That hole right there? Let's try it. Wait, how do I get to it? What? Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Oh, this hole. Let me just make sure there aren't any rocks around here that I think feel like I need to toss down. Super repel. Well, there's an item I should get. <laughs> Save that money. Let's jump down the hole and hope it's correct. <laughs> what a like anticlimactic landing. It's just like bup. All right, there's a ladder down to it as well. Okay. Let's see where this lands us. No. Dang it. This is not easy. <laughs> this is going to be this entire episode. It's just like me figuring out the Seafall Islands puzzle. I can't remember what happens if I surf here. Oh, it just shoves me back. Okay, so I can't go that way at all. <laughs> I think I need to climb higher. There's so many freaking floors of this place. It gets so confusing. <laughs> Dang it, Slowpoke. Get out of my way. Alright, there's the hole in the floor that did not yield anything. Is that girl in a bikini in here? Damn. Nerves of steel. Oh, a coach trainer I haven't fought yet. Eh, I don't need to do that right now. <laughs> I think this is the top floor. Oh! I finally got to the floor that I have to shove rocks down. <laughs> awesome, okay. So we did that, but that's not the only thing I have to do. There's a jinx I have to avoid, because I already have one. Yeah, that was that freaking <laughs> away from me, demon. Okay, there is another one. All right, I'm glad I didn't go down yet. Seal, please move. So the entire time I just had to get to this floor. If I'd just come in from the other side, this would have been so much more obvious. Ugh. All right, let's go back around because I do need, I do want to shove that other rock down the other hole. I can see I need to do both holes. Let's just follow it down the hole. Right. 
how do I get back around and get the other one? Oh, I have to go back up. Okay. That's fine. How far are they going to make me go back up to get to the other one? Oh, not too far. Okay. Dang it, that was the wrong one. Ugh! <laughs> See if I'm islands are so annoying. <laughs> Why are you making me work so hard for Articuno? It's like the worst bird in regards to... Well, actually, no, it's Moltres. I don't actually know which one is the worst competitively. But it doesn't matter. Just for the decks, anyway. No, I have to go up the up ladder. Back to the, the top floor. <laughs> what does this guy do? I just noticed there was that guy, like, just staring at stuff, and I realized I haven't talked to him. So I'm like, what do you do? Oh, okay, it's this guy. All right. Oh, hey. Alright, well we did that, so now I have access to this area, which I did not have access to before. No, wait, no. That's not right. Wait, no, I have had access to this area. Yeah. There's gotta be something else that this gave me access to. Did this accomplish anything? Or did it calm water elsewhere? What happens if I go down that other hole? Yeah, because the water, I can see the water's moving down, which means when I was here before, it launched me down that way. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I might use a repel for the first time in this playthrough. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh wait, that's two spots. I can get the rocks out of there. Oh, I'm an idiot. I can't believe I didn't notice that before. can get one of them out. I don't think there's any way to get both of them out. Oh, cool! I must have shoved one down earlier and forgot. <laughs> 
we finally make it? Yes, we finally made it! <laughs> awesome! Finalmente. A big pearl. Nice. Alright. God, you really made me work for this. <laughs> you better not be a butt. wreck this thing. I'm assuming a very anticlimactic rock slide is what's going to be the res the entire consistency of this battle. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Throw straight! Oh, nice! Someone told me Articuno would be the the most annoying to catch of all of them. Oh shoot! I just ripped my headphones out of my speakers. <laughs> Don't play this game with wired headphones, kids. <laughs> Unless you don't have any other ones. Of course it moves. All right, Articuno. Most annoying to get to. Most annoying to catch. Why am I not surprised? Golly gee, Batman. <laughs> Annoying! Is it because I'm on Team Valor? Is that why this is happening? This is why this is happening. Articuno's mad that I'm on Team Valor. Moltres was nice because it just didn't care. Or Moltres was nice because it's like, you're the right team. Zapdos is like, I'm on Team Instinct, I don't care about anything. Then. Completely overthrow for no reason. Thank you. 
Oh, just short, are you kidding? Oh my god, Articuno. How is that short? You know, I've said for a while that Zapdos is my least favorite bird, but uh, Articuno might take that crown. Finally! Ah! Gosh, freaking dang it, Articuno! You are so annoying! So annoying! Ah, we got it. Got Articuno. All is well. Pidge wants more pets. More Pidge pets. Alright. We need to go get Mewtwo now. <laughs> Thankfully, I have escape ropes. Woo! Alrighty, so now... <laughs> it's in good humor! Yes, I'm glad you're laughing. You just got to sit there and watch me struggle with that stupid bird. <laughs> but now we go to Cerulean Cave. This should be fun. Not what I meant to click. Where's Arcanine? How do I get over there? I gotta go from the other way, yeah, that's right. Do we? Wait, can I even go from that way? Oh yeah, I can. I just have to go... I have to surf a little... Surf a waves. Da -na -na -na. Throwback Thursday to my glorious... Oh, come on! I never fought this kid! <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is going on? His <laughs> level 10 Spiro and I'm sending out a level 69 shiny Aerodactyl. We're going to murder this bird. for the experience. <laughs> Alright, before I forget, I'm definitely fighting Mewtwo with Mew, because that's extremely cool. Get in the water before that Oddish attacks! That's a coach trainer. I don't need to do that on camera. Oh, cool. Wait, I want to ride Lapras? Definitely do not remember how to navigate this place at all. <laughs> so this is probably going to turn into another Seafoam Island situation. This episode might go a little long, but I think it makes sense to catch all the legendaries in one episode, you know? Man, it's so... I love the bioluminescent... Er, I feel like it's glowing algae is what it's supposed to be. Maybe they're just magic crystals. I don't know. 
Oh, hi, Rhydon. Nope, the only Pokemon in here I am interested in catching are Lickitung. Pidge is wiggling its tail. It means there's a hidden item. I know there's like some really like broken hidden items in here. And oh, ditto. That's where you catch ditto. Ah, cool. Like, there's like fossils and like a master ball that respawn every day, which is like, whoa, okay. I don't need to find those this episode. I'm just, you know, letting you guys know. Man, this one floor has this many floors? <laughs> or ladders, I mean? How am I supposed to know which way to go? I haven't done Cerulean Cave in a long time. Like, seriously, I don't think I've navigated through Cerulean Cave. I think I did it in, like, yellow when I played through it, like, when it came out on the Virtual Console. And that was a while ago. Golduck looks kind of creepy walking around. Lickitung is our target, though. It just wiggling its... Mm -hmm. There's a hidden item somewhere. Oh! I don't need to, like, get all of them. Like, I can always come back and they respawn daily. If I really want to use the Master Ball on Mewtwo, I can. I'm gonna try to not, though. Okay, clearly that looks like the ladder I need to go through, is the one on the left. Could a Lickitung just spawn? I don't want to catch Mewtwo before I catch Lickitung. Do you have a gift for me? No, you don't. You're just uncomfortable. Everything is fine, Paige. What is Lickitung's spawn rate in here? I'm gonna use a lure. I really want to catch Lickitung before I catch Mewtwo. <laughs> Wait, I heard it. Ah, oh, finally! Oh, you stupid thing! I've been sitting here for like five minutes. Finally, we got a lick of tongue. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ah, I hate this thing. <laughs> well, we got it. We got a lick of tongue. <laughs> Moves more freely than its four legs. Alright, we got a lick of tongue, so now we can go and catch Mewtwo. Let me just double check that that is actually the last Pokemon I need. <laughs> really embarrassing. Yeah, 150. Yep, just Mewtwo. We Gucci. Of course, as soon as we come down here, another one shows up. <laughs> A wild Snorlax? Did not know this could happen. 
Ah, crap. Ah, so close. I'm not really concerned about whether or not it runs. Just, you know, thought I'd check it out. I, fi I think this is, this is probably like the rare spawn for this area. Oh, we got it. Cool. Nice. <laughs> oh, Snorlax candy for it. Nice. Did I pass up 500 catches? That's probably why this is happening. I've like moved to an, like, the more total catches you have, the more, um, like, rewards you get from, from catching Pokemon and stuff. So I'm assuming that's what happened. You... Rhyhorn, get out of my way! Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> The epic battle! <laughs> oh, it's level 70. This will not be as easy as the other ones. Well, that's great. Love that that's happening. Yikes, that is all that does? This thing knows recover. This may not work. <laughs> I might have to switch to one of my physical attackers. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to switch to a physical attacker, because Mewtwo knows recover. Like, I can't, like... Yeah, I can't risk, like... We gotta go to a physical attacker. Um, Raider's gonna be the strongest. Go for Amnesia again, because whatever you use is really gonna hurt if you attack right now. No! <laughs> Oh, it outspeeds! This is not good. What happens if we don't beat it? Come on, buddy. Please let your crunch do a lot of damage. I wish I had a scissor right now. God. Of course it lowers my special defense. Man. What do I do? This is not good. I actually am really concerned we won't be able to beat this thing. <laughs> We take those. Please just don't know recover. If you don't know recover, we'll be fine. If you know recover, we're we're screwed. Crit? No. All right, we can take one more psychic. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if we could beat this, guys. It's too powerful. I mean, at least if we don't beat it, like, we find out what happens if you don't beat it. But like, oh my god, this thing is ripped. I have to lean, if, I, if we don't beat it, I'm leading with my physical attackers.
Oh my god. What do I do? Do I just give up? Like... Paralyze it? Like... Oh, we paralyzed it! Okay. I have to switch in I have to switch in Arcanine and hope we get lucky with the paralysis. We're running out of time! <laughs> uh... Freaking balls. All the rest of my Pokemon. I guess I'll go with Zor and hope the Earthquake does enough, like... <laughs> 23 seconds! Oh no, the Mega Village is gonna take up more time! Alright, this is the last turn. If we don't, like, crit Oko with Earthquake right here, we, we lose. Oh no, it still outspeeds even with the... Oh. I was not ready for this to be. Amnesia and Recover are like... We're gonna run out of time. He disappeared. Wait, what? Excuse me? Well, obviously there's a way to get him to respawn, but how do I get him to respawn? Do I have to beat the Elite Four again? Hey guys, I'm back. I was right. You had to beat the Elite Four again to get it to respawn. So, really pleased with past Mikey for deciding to grind up the team because when I set the I set the battle style to switch and the Elite Four rematch was pretty easy. Um, it was still annoying that I had to do it and it was still time consuming, but I did do it. We're gonna try this again. I have taught Mew Toxic and Taunt. We're gonna taunt it first so that it can only use Swift and Psychic. It can't recover and it can't um, amnesia. And then we're gonna Toxic it. And then anytime Taunt wears off, we're just gonna Taunt it again. And then Dark Pulse or Potion in the off turns. And uh, I hope this works. It was so, actually, no. If this doesn't work, I'm just turning off the system and trying again. I do not wanna have to go through the Elite Four again. So let's try this again. <laughs> Don't be a butt this time, Mewtwo. Ah, oh, you only get to see the movie once? I was kinda hoping I'd get to see the, the movie again, you know. Get me back into the, the atmosphere of it, but I guess not. Okay. Fight. Taunt. All right, well, you're just going straight for the Psychic anyways. Oh, he's angry. Alright, so this should help if he, like, recovers at any point. I have to heal here to be safe because Mew has to stay alive. 
If, if Mew does not stay alive, I'm screwed. <laughs> Hope he doesn't get the special defense drop. Alright, we can get a dark pulse off this turn. Let's see how much this does without the special de special defense boost that he got last time. Okay. Alright, he shook off the taunt, unfortunately, which probably means that he, like, probably means he recovers here, but, like, Toxic's just gonna keep doing more and more damage. So we can, we can taunt him this next turn. Oh, he went for Psychic again. Toxic might kill here. So close. All right, well, let's, uh, let's just Dark Pulse. Oh, he goes for Recover. All right, well, Dark Pulse plus the Toxic Damage might KO here. Because I think Toxic's gotten to the point where it's doing half his health. Yes! All right, we did it! <laughs> Screw you, Mewtwo! <laughs> I read on Siravi that he'll occasionally, like, put up barriers that make it... My cat is meowing, because of course she is. Oh, of course you're doing this stupid thing. When are you gonna... Well, we made contact. I don't think there's any point in using berries because that barrier makes it so berries don't work. Ah! Just make contact, eventually we'll catch it. <laughs> I got a great throw. First time getting one of those. Alright, we're gonna try using a golden raspberry. Not till that barrier goes away. Oh! 
Oh, did I just waste it? It came back right as I used the... God, I hate this thing! No more berries. He's like not giving any time that the barrier's not up. God, there's like no, oh my God, this is incredibly difficult. Yes, finally. Oh my God, that was so annoying. Caught that jerk and wasted a golden raspberry in the process. <sighs> Freaking finally. Let's get the hell out of here and go get the shiny charm. I don't even know where I do that, actually. I probably should have looked that up. Oh, Josh is here. Okay, it's in Celadon. So we'll go there after this guy talks to me. You already caught that super strong Pokemon, didn't you? I knew it, so it's called Mewtwo, huh? And then you got, a, got to Mewtwo before me or that girl. Huh? Oh, I ran into this gutsy girl who said she was looking for a powerful Pokemon. I think she meant Mewtwo. I guess that's that. Here, take these. I won't need them now. Oh, thanks, dude. Just saw that girl come in here, too. She must still be looking for Mewtwo. You should go show it to her. Oh, that's... I think he's talking about green. I guess we can battle her on camera. I don't know about this episode, though. <laughs> Probably do it next episode. Right now, we're gonna go get the, the shiny charm, and then this episode is over. Pretty cool that I beat it with, uh... God, what do you want, Pidge? Oh, you actually have a present for me. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Pidge. Thanks for that. So that on condominiums. I think it's in here? Yeah, this is it. I'm having a meeting with an important client. You want to join in? Nope, never mind. Not him. Not that. Huh. Oh, this is it. I knew it was a guy that looked like this, but this is this is it. Wow, excellent, you completed your Pokedex. So wonderful. Please allow me to honor you into that award. Woo! Go. Cool. This is a special gift from me. Yeah! Let's go. Show your Pokedex to the developers too. Just kidding. <laughs> Actually, your model hasn't changed at all, has it? Er, never mind, don't mind me! <laughs> You've grown! Actually, no, you look exactly the same. Title? How do you get more titles? Interesting. 
All right, cool, guys. Well, that's where I'm going to wrap it up for this episode. I do think I am going to do one more, um, focusing on the gym leader rematches, and we'll probably go fight uh, Green as well. Um, but that is where I'm going to wrap it up for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, and that is all I have for now. So until next time, big fans, gotta catch them all!